It was just yesterday I said I don't want to be this way, but then it was just today I said I'll be this way. Ready for your spaghetti dinner, Mia? <laughs> Sparshetti and meat sauce. Sparshetti <laughs> and meat sauce. <laughs> Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone, episode 182. You feel me? Episode 182. One, eight, two. That's what that equals, right there. Universal language. Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card. But you'll find out anyway because we'll talk about it. Did I say that right? I don't know. Guess what, fuckers? Guess what? I'm talking to you, Michelangelo. This is the last card. All right? I only had... I had two packs of 100 of these. I had used up a bunch in college, and then I had a bunch left over. And so this is the last one. I got to buy more. Ever since this podcast started, all right, episode, what was it? Episode three, I started using these cards. And I haven't bought a new pack since. So that was like, what, two years? I started in 2016, 17, 89, just four years four fucking years of these bad boys let me show you the stack i have the entire stack here look at this that's every episode from episode three all the way to episode 182 (laughs) that's so cool it's very it's just it's nice to see that I committed to something, you know? And I think we should blast, we should zip through a couple of these and see what, you know, I talked about in the beginning. I feel like next episode I'm going to do, um, well, I was going to do year in review, but I should just do, well, no, actually, I should save that for episode 200. Episode 200, we're going to do the entire podcast in review. But I think uh, next episode, it'll just be the year in review. The 2020 year in review. What happened during 2020 on the Dynamite Gizmo shit cast? Well, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> so I should probably save these for episode 200 then. Or no. Let's run through them now. Let's run through them right now. Because this is the last card. We got no more. I got to buy more. I don't know where to get them. Let's see. Let's just... Let's just let's just see what we talked about on episode three, because episode one and two I didn't have these yet, but episode three I uh, I did. <laughs> so family of five, Joe Rogan guest guests coming soon. That was episode three. All right, episode four I had a guest. Oh no, this would be episode four. Yeah, this is episode four. What the fuck is this? I don't even know. Uh, Krusty Krab, Studio, and Lil Dicky. Lil Dicky! I haven't talked about Lil Dicky in a long time. But where it says guests coming soon, I spelt it (laughs) C-U-M-I-N. Obviously just fucking around. Like a little fuckboy. Because that's what I am. I'm a little fuckboy. You all know it. Let's see. Episode 5, People with Phones, The Easy Life We Live, Drugs Are Good, Not Pharmaceutical Drugs, Acting Is Weird, Other Things We Do Is Weird, Roommates, Mr. Hotter, Boner, oh, (laughs) do you remember the Mr. Hotter story about his fucking boner and the asshole swirl? This episode was called The Asshole Swirl, I remember that. Frankie McDonald, wow. Meditation, 
Universe, Elementary School Memories, MP3 Players. Who is your favorite comedian? And Oh, I thought it said United Shoes, but it says Untied Shoes. What else we got in here? Police and Tickets. Chef Farts on Plate. What's that? Debt. <laughs> People Stunt Growth of Evolution. Alex Jones Refuses Trump to... Come on show. What? When did that happen? What is this? Video games. Wow, Lit Fuse vlogs. Oh, the Lit Fuse. I wish I had more viewers. <laughs> oh, and do you like Red Band? Yeah, I still wish I had more viewers. It's been how many episodes? This was episode seven. Look at that guy in Mercedes. Pooped, selling chocolate. So I've, so I've told that story too many times then if i told that story in episode seven well this is episode seven part two if i told that episode in episode seven and then i just told it over halloween who knows how many other times i've told that story on here are we literally gonna rip through all these i don't think so we'll stop in a few let's stop right now you know this is the entire dynamite shitmo podcast collection right here and you know i used to write in my description that if you leave a comment and blah 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 i'll give one out to you but uh guess who's got no viewers i do ah i do okay so the pile's gonna sit for a while until I get viewers if I ever do which I might never I'm just like an insane person who talks to a camera every week and nobody watches so if you were wondering what is the definition of insanity or what does that look like you're looking at it baby because <laughs> I don't I, I like it's literally from an outside perspective what I'm doing right now is crazy and, I mean, right now it seems uh, insane. Like, why would anyone waste so much time doing this if they're gaining nothing? You know, it looks that way. But the, what I keep thinking in my head is if I just keep doing it and figuring it out episode after episode, eventually it's going to lead to something good. And it is really, really, really slowly building, but it is building. I'm talking about the audience. So, take your goddamn Fruit Loop comments and get them out of here. Y'all are a bunch of goddamn Fruit Loops, you know that? What the f*** do we even have to talk? At least I wrote some shit down to talk about this episode. Alright? And you see, I had to write on the back of the goddamn card because some fool came in here and decided to write on the front of it. They just thought, oh, I need a scrap piece of paper to write on, so I'm going to grab from this stack of fucking yellow pieces of paper note cards. All right. When there's clearly a bunch of sticky notes there you could have grabbed. Person? Nope, they had to go for the goddamn podcast cards. I can't, I st it still blows my mind that I've done this many episodes. We are so close. We. Look at me saying we like there's more. It's literally just me. I have made so many episodes. We are almost at 200. And that's still not a lot compared to the other bigger podcasts, but it's, but I'm also way ahead of many other podcasters like Andrew Santino, Eric Griffin, Bill, well, some of them, Bill and Bert podcast, you know, and I could have been, I was when I started, because I took like a year off this podcast, if you don't remember, it was damn near a year, I just stopped doing it for a full year, and I got back into it again, and if I didn't take that long of time off, I would have been on par with uh, the H3 podcast right now, I, I might have even been ahead of them at one point. Then I stopped and, uh, you know, have to catch back up again. 
because they're at 200 already. They're, they're more than 200. I'm at 182. What have we got in here? Oh, there was something I forgot to look up. Let's look it up now. I don't like having not having the second keyboard here. Because I got to reach so far ahead to type in. Weather. There's something I noticed. Let me just type it in first. Have you ever noticed like the weather, the weather people? Meteorologists on the news networks, they all have fucking names that relate to their fucking job. Like when I was growing up in uh, Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia, that's where I grew up. Sydney, Cape Breton Island, you been there? Probably not. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about, where I'm talking about. But that's where I grew up. And we had a weather lady, a meteorologist lady, and her name was Cindy Day. Cindy Day. And we used to call her Windy Day because she was a meteorologist. And then that turned into Windy Wendy because she got caught for uh, a sexual scandal. She was blowing Frankie McDonald in the, in the stalls at the, at the weather network. Those were our two weather people, all right? And I know what you're thinking. Like, Frank McDonald, that name sounds familiar. Yeah, you've seen him on the internet. He's a, he's a weatherman as well. He's a weatherman from my home city, all right? Like, I used to see, I used to see this guy around fucking... Uh, <laughs> look at this. He's even... <laughs> He's even classified on Google as a Canadian meteorologist, okay? I used to see Frankie McDonald on the streets in Sydney, in the in the malls and everything. In my hometown, before he was ever on the internet. I knew this guy. All right, and look at this. He's got pillows. He's got fucking uh, bedding. Let's just see. So this is who we had. This was our weatherman. Well, her, him and Cindy Day. You ever see Frankie McDonald's weather forecast on YouTube? Yeah. The guy is a legend. So oh, Frankie's yeah, on is. the autism spectrum, and his oh, no-nonsense, high-volume style has earned him 190,000 subscribers. Wow. Frankie forecasts weather all over the world, and this yeah, week he, he is warning us. Massive blizzard headed towards Stanford, Colorado on Wednesday, March 13, 2019. It's going to bring up to 6 to 12 inches of snow and more. Winds are going to be really high in Denver, Colorado, Boulder, Colorado, and Fort Collins, Colorado. It's going to bring a lot of snow. Winds are going to be very strong. Ah, uh, man, Frankie's, Frankie's the best. And our 90s weather team says Frankie's onto something here. You know it's like a good storm system when Frankie is doing his weather forecast because Thousands and thousands of people are going to see it. Dangerous and treacherous storm conditions in Stanford, Colorado, and surrounding areas as well. When you see someone, they're so, so incredibly passionate. I mean, he goes and finds the biggest winter storms ah. that are happening and then just delivers it in a way that I think people just love. Uh huh. That's what we're saying. He also does stuff like this. Kathy Griffin. Let's go to let's go to Frankie's page. Frankie, uh, Frankie McDonald, hot dogs. He loves eating hot dogs. This is, was this uploaded eight years ago already? And then he did one three months ago. Let's do this one. Look, and Whitney Pier. Okay, guys, we're going to do a guy eating a lot of hot dogs at once. Here's a barbecue. Barbecue and hot dogs. Nice. Barbecue. Put barbecue sauce on it. Put a bunch Toast on. Toast a lot of buns. Yeah, nice. Sounds good, buddy. The hot dogs ready. Oh, nice. Eat them. I want you to eat a lot of hot dogs at once. Okay, go ahead. Eat them all right now. Do it then. Eat those hot dogs Do right it. now. 
Do it. Oh, here he goes. Man, he's a fast eater. He doesn't even chew. He's just swallowing. He's not even opening his mouth, really. I want to go back to Sydney and just roam around Whitney Pier and find and film one of these. Wouldn't that be cool? I could do that. I could definitely do that. Is he literally going to... Is he counting to 50 as he's doing it? Oh, he's not. What's he saying? Eat five more hot dogs. Five more. Don't go fall down. One, two, three, four, five. Sounds like dogs are chasing me. Oh uh -oh. my god, dogs are after me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get out of there, Frankie. They're coming, Frankie. Oh, dogs are chasing me. I wonder how old Frankie is now. Frankie, run, man. Get out of there. You know, like, I wonder the, the people who drive by like that, like, they must know that that's Frankie. Like, I would have to stop and be like, Yo, Frankie! Big fan, brother! Let me be in your video! That might scare him away, though. I wonder if he lives alone. Do you think he lives alone, or does he live with someone? Okay. So here are some fucking meteorologists with fitting names. Okay? I just want to say this before we get started here, fuckers. Um... I ha lately I haven't been preparing enough for the episodes. I've just been like I I would I sit down like 20 minutes before the episode starts. I get all my TikToks uploaded and ready, downloaded, I mean. The only thing I really do to prepare now is I I'm downloading TikToks throughout the week that I watched and I like. Whereas what I used to do is I would t spend the whole week leading up to the filming of the episode actually writing down notes, talking points, coming up with ideas, and specific uh, uh, transitions for what I want to do. And then it made it smoother and nicer and funner. And then I kind of stopped doing that because I got too comfortable with just sitting down and ad-libbing the whole time. Which is fine, it can be done. But I want to start, you know, preparing a little better. I want to have some meat. I want to be, you know, I, just seeing the way that the H3 podcast is developing. I like to use that as an example because what is happening over there is so beautiful. I love it. They're doing a fantastic fucking job and I love everything they upload. And so I want to I want to do what they're doing. Not a, you know, I'm not trying to like rip them off. I'm trying to take advice from what I see happening over there. If that makes any sense. All right. Spaghetti and meat sauce. <laughs> but uh yeah, I just wanted to say that before we run through because I literally just came up with most of this, most of this shit. Right before I sat down here. And that's fine. It works out. I can make it work. But I don't want to. Alright? Stop repeating yourself. God, I do that too much. If you let a keyboard sit too long, if you let anything sit too long, it just gets covered in dust. This is that stinky rag. Oh, it doesn't stink anymore. I'm getting distracted like crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. Let me let, you know what? Let me unfold it and let it air out. Maybe that'll help. Okay. Uh, Ray Ban. He holds no relation to the pop. Blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Richard Heatwave Burler. Now, see, that one doesn't count. That one doesn't count because that's just a nickname they gave him. 
That's not his actual name. I'm talking people with actual names. Like Cindy Day. Fucking, um. What the hell is his name? Oh, what the hell was his name? Something Reigns. Um, God, I can't remember. It was like Iguana Reigns or something. Uh, Sam Champion. What the? F- that is. How is that? That's that shouldn't be in there. Sunny Day. What? His name was Sunny Day. If Sunny Day seems like a name too good to be true for a weather person, it is Day who presented the weather in the 1970s and the 1980s, actually was named Leon Fred Peterson. Oh, well, that's... That just ruined the whole thing for me. Stormfield. Barnon Stormfield is one of the best all-time weather names. Field, retired, served, brop, bop, 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 storm, bop. His father was named Frank Field, and he named his kid Stormfield. Amy Freeze. Sonny Hawes. Chris Landsea, Johnny Mountain. <laughs> the, this name has celebrity written all over. A local TV icon, Mountain was a weather car. Cap, ap, aps, cap, ap, a day, bow. Had its ABC affiliate for 27 years. This is his last forecast in 2010. Well, let's give it a watch. Johnny Happy Mountain. Happy St. Patty's to yeah, you. I know that's part you. of yeah. your heritage. It is. Same to you, Johnny. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They actually Look had in New York. They had groups fighting is. to get into that parade. Yeah. 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 I was there. Yeah. I was there yeah. one year. I was the there. to gosh truth. I was there one year. It was, I was the there, coldest to gosh I have truth. ever been in my life. It was about 28 degrees oh, with a 20, goodness. 25 mile per hour winds blowing down those canyons. Uh-huh. No one I talks like that I walked about two or three blocks from the hotel down there and went, that's it. And turn around and got out of there. It was brutally cold. It looked wow. like it was better. Captivating, yeah. Johnny. If we could yeah. export our weather, it'd be perfect for it that. It was one of those things. I wanted to see it in Chicago. It was one of those I things. I wanted to see if I could ever do this. I told Laura yesterday. Well, I've seen it. Well, I've seen it. Well, 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 Check the weather before you get it. That's the other thing. It was such a nice day out there. I like mountains. I've never been that cold in my life. You've never been that cold. You know what? We're not going to be cold. It doesn't look like between now and the end of the month as we have a long shot and we're zooming in on the downtown area right there. Wow. Stay as Stay as sweet as you are. That's stay, great. Stay, stay. Great shot. All right, let's get going because we right, want to talk here we about go. This even is what though we have for. no rain for you, CBS 2 Doppler right now, as we are zooming back. Zoom, and zoom. Clear skies. Actually, a big ridge of high pressure here high giving pressure. us the offshore. But there's going to be a change, we believe, in our product that we're talking product. about. Over the next He's talking days, about his and it is a product. Just stream sample. right into the north of us. However, wow. notice right here. I'm right noticing. Here, right there. See that little see gray it. area? Yeah, I see Fog it. Fog and low clouds are going to start developing along our coast. That is going to change our change. weather over the next few days. 87 a day, okay. 61 the low, 70 and wow. 52 is the normal okay. average for this time of year. So we're going to take a look at the wind. Why are we watching Thursday, this? Wednesday. We're going out Thursday. Okay. And we're checking out. All right. I, don't, I thought this would be better. It's not. Casanova Nurse? Why do they have a video? Like, what's so interesting? Do we need to watch well, this? Well, a little bit of a break today. Well, a little bit of a break today. For this weekend. Oh, with, yeah. Uh, Florida State's big spring game. But we're kicking off the fun tonight. With we're kicking off the fight the tonight. Get down and the FSU Get down. party. And right there, the block party. Kicking off right the there. Is our very own chief meteorologist, Casanova Nurse, live for us tonight. Oh, it's and a guy. I, I thought it was a girl. If you're out there, that means probably uh, no worries of any rain tonight. Well, thank you, Bob. That's right, Greg. We had our rain That's right, Greg. and thunderstorms early this morning, late last night. and at least- Thank you, Casanova. There it is. Dallas Rains. That's the guy I was talking about. Dallas. He was on Jimmy Kimmel. Let's check this out. It's time to turn to the weather now. And the weather. Dallas Rains, and we want to point out it is Happy National <laughs> Weather Forecasters Day. Dallas. And what a happy day. It's always a happy day. Man, this guy looks good. Have, uh, I weather. like this guy. Happy National Weather Forecasters Day, Jimmy, Dallas. Jimmy, look at There's you, man. There's some flowers for you. Wow. And I Jimmy, got you a come mug. On over. Jimmy, you got a little closer to the This program. is nice. Oh, okay. There you go. I got you a mug that says world's greatest weather man. I love it. And a bucket of rain from outside. <laughs> 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 
want to drink the rain, you can too. <laughs> but I just I wanted to wish you a happy weather day. Is that a fake laugh he's got? On behalf of all the elements, we appreciate <laughs> on you. Behalf you so on behalf of all the elements. And can I be on your show tonight, maybe? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's Thank a lie. Very much. Give me <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the I'm weather, everybody. <laughs> you're my favorite, man. Thank you. You're my favorite, too. <laughs> Enjoy. Gee, you're the best. Man, look he at took this. the mug. Look those flowers. <laughs> Am I out of time already? I yeah, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody's gonna have to hold these. Have Jimmy hold those for Jimmy. Someone's gonna have to hold these. <laughs> okay, listen, fella. We gotta move. We gotta move on here. Glenn Hurricane Schwartz. Eh, doesn't count. Wait, is this isn't Topper shut? Topper shut. That one doesn't count either. Flip Spiceland? Flip Spiceland? That one doesn't fit either. That's just weird. Larry Sprinkle. That one does nothing. I guess you could sprinkle rain, I guess. Oh, Larry. I'm not going to play you, Larry. I'm sorry. Sven Sungard. Okay. Harry Wappler. That one doesn't belong either. Elizabeth Betsy Weatherhead. There's no fucking way. That's her last name? Weatherhead? Holding a PhD in geophysical sciences. That wasn't as hard as I made it sound. And an esteemed researcher, Weatherhead, boasts plenty of weather brain power. She works at the University of Colorado. <laughs> Specialized. <laughs> Specializing in the evaluation of forecasting techniques, developing new measurements, approaches. Well, Ken Weathers, fuck you, Ken. And that's it. And that's it. That's it, fucks. That's all she wrote, funkheads. How do you feel about this? Pakistani politician. That song has been stuck in my head ever since I said it that day. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go watch some the clips on Instagram or TikTok. I don't remember where. It's on one of them. From an episode. Don't remember which episode it was, but it blah 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 blah. Keep talking, fool. No one cares. Oops. We've got some sound bites, but it's freezing up on me. Bee boo boo bop boo boo beep. Yep. I sure did. I sure did. We still have things to talk about. I've got that, I've got that, and that, and then we've got TikToks. Oh, and this as well. There's two things. There's few things on here we could talk about. Vaccines are one of them. Do I, do I want to go down that path? <sighs> I don't, actually. I don't, because I know nothing. The stuff I know, you don't need to know, because you either already know, or it don't matter, because I don't know. You see? You know, it's fine talking about subjects if you don't really have that much knowledge on them. It's fine talking about it. It's not fine trying to push ideas onto other people when you don't know what you're talking about, okay? That's difference. You need to know difference like a progi and a negro. They're too different. <laughs> but they taste great, both do. I like, I eat. Bad analogy, I know. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't fit. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. No. no. <sighs> How long are we gonna have to wear the masks for? You know, it's been so long. Makes a guy wonder. Is it gonna be forever? First it was three weeks. Like, that's not so bad. 
And then they were like, no, maybe we'll do like a couple months. I'm like, okay, I could do with like a two month little lockdown thing, whatever you want to call it. This is kind of interesting, you know? It was kind of nice just having a little break. And then it kept going and going and going and going. And people are like, we're fucking locked down forever, man. What's going on? We're like a bunch of camels stuck in a soup kitchen. And we're running out of soup. So we're starting to get angry. And go a little psychotic. Okay? And we're going to start bringing out the butcher knives. Chopping up the other camels. Making more soup. We got to have soup. If we're going to be stuck in a soup kitchen. For the entirety of who knows how long. Because they keep lying to us. They're telling us it's going to be over soon. But it never is. So you chop up the other camels to make more camel soup. Not to be confused with giggle soup, which you can find in the studios of Dudley the Dragon. You remember that? The Halloween episode this year? It's from Spooktober. <laughs> Michelangelo remembers. Michelangelo. <laughs> uh, this is the Dynamite Gizmo podcast, everyone. I hope you're enjoying it. You thought it was over, didn't you? It's not. Not even close. We're not even halfway done. <sighs> to make the paper move by blowing on it. <sighs> But I need it, so don't blow it off the table, please. Why do people remove their earwax? You know? I can understand, like, cleaning the outside. Getting the gunk that people can see out of there. But the shit on the inside. Why do they hire specialists to remove the deep, thick wax? What's the point? It's there for a reason. And even if it was, well, you know, the, the main point is that it's, it's there for a reason, okay? And you, if you remove it, it just comes back. So, so why are you removing it? It's there, isn't, it's there to protect your ear and help with sound stuff. <laughs> See, this is one of those things that... I'm talking about, but I don't know anything about it. I just know, or at least I think I know that earwax is there for a reason. Maybe it's not. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Why else would it be there? And you can't see the earwax on the inside. And I don't see how it would be bothering someone unless there's such an abundant amount that they need it removed. But I just keep seeing these videos of people removing earwax with candles or like that water thing that shoots water in their ear. And that doesn't seem healthy either. Like, it's literally like a jet stream of water going into the ear canal. I like to say canal because it sounds pretty close to anal. And anal is a funny word. So. The ear stuff. Seems a little sus to me. Like it's unnecessary. And it's just a way to make money. You just invest in the tools. Well, you gotta, I guess you gotta be a doctor too. I don't know. Do you have to be a doctor to remove earwax from someone's ear? I don't even think you need to be a doctor, right? You could just start a business and be like, you need, you sick of earwax? Come to the fucking earwax station. And we'll get rid of it for you. $500. We'll get rid of that earwax. But don't worry, because it'll be back in a few months. It'll be back in a few days. And then you'll have to come back and get it out again. And it'll just keep coming back. So why do you keep removing the earwax? 
And why do you shoot water in the ear? That does how, like how can that be good? Do I just sound like a ignorant fool right now? I hope I do. I hope I do because I acknowledged that I might. So at least there's that. Um. That'd be like going to the doctor and being like, I want my cum removed. <laughs> so that's just, that's, I guess, you know, that's what prostitution's for, I guess. Can you remove my cum? Yep, that'll be 500 bucks. Okay. The only difference is it feels nice. I can't imagine the water in the ear or the candle feels that nice. Um. That was not really a good comparison, but uh, it's been. <sighs> We're still not even halfway there. Actually, we are. Kind of. I don't want to talk about the vaccine, dude. All right. Vaccines approaching. We all think that's what's going to be the end all. Or the, 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 you know, the final. That's, oh my God. The vaccine is going to allow us to leave the lockdown and stop wearing the masks, right? I mean, that was the whole point of this. We were wearing the masks and doing the lockdown until the vaccine came. And people are complaining about the vaccine, saying it just came out of nowhere and they're p producing it too quickly. But what I'm confused about is that they've been working on this vaccine for a year now. So what do you mean they're taking too long? This entire lockdown has been, you know, dedicated to getting the vaccine out. So, like, what do you mean it came out too quick? Again, I probably sound like an ignorant fool right now. So that's why I don't want to talk about this. Because I am an ignorant fool. Don't listen to this. Okay? This piece of shit right here doesn't know what he's talking about. And if you think I do, then you're the goddamn fool. Alright? The point of the internet is to have fun. But we've fucked it up. We've really fucked it up. Really, really fucked. Like, really fucked it up. And it's caused our world to funk up. Eh. Let's go back to 1890. Let's go back to 1890 with the knowledge we have now and try to explain it to them. And be like, how's it going, cowboy? What you doing in my saloon? You want to hear something cool? In the future, he's going to be like, what does cool mean? And I'm going to be like, oh, now i got to explain what cool means. Do you want to hear something intriguing? He would understand that, right? And he'd go, all right, let's hear it. And then I'd go, well, in the future... In the year 2020, that's a long time, isn't it? We're going to have these things called computers. There'd be so much to explain. It would take, well, it would take, it would take a long ass time. He, and maybe he wouldn't believe half of it. Oh, yeah, we're done with the weather, man. Okay, here we go. We got one. Th we just got one quick thing to cover here. Um, Disneyland tweeted once again. Chip and Dale have both changed their names to Brian, so they're both Brian now. There's Brian and and Brian. It's not Chip and Dale. Now we all know that Mr. Beast is just the craziest shit that has ever happened on YouTube. Like, I don't even understand how he does anything that he does. It makes no sense to me. I don't know what's going on. I don't get it. I mean, I get it. But I don't know how he does it. 
All right, so we all know he started up this restaurant. I opened up the world's first free restaurant. And if that wasn't enough, I also paid people to eat at my restaurant. We haven't even opened yet. And the police just told us they had to shut down a mile of traffic. And there's a thousand cars in line. But I mean, you know, like. Every, every, every single video he uploads is like more insane than the last. All right, so not only did he open up his own restaurant and literally pay people to eat there. I haven't watched this video yet because I didn't prepare, you know? Like I said at the beginning, I didn't prepare. He did all that and then and then and then he tweets this. I just launched 300 in restaurants nationwide. Just go on your favorite delivery app and order Mr. Beast Burger. We've been working on this forever and I'm so excited. 300 fucking restaurants? Like what? What is going on? How? How do you do that? How is that how, how is that how is that possible? How is that possible? How did he do it? Look at some of the shit he's got on here. This is the menu. There's the B style, there's the Chris style, there's the Chandler's style, there's the Carl's grilled cheese, Nashville hot chicken sandwich. What is going on? Is this real? Is this fake? You know, even Ethan's confused. He's like, the fuck? Who else we got in the comments? Jack Septicai says the same thing. What's going on? I don't get it. How is he doing this? He's he, like every single video he uploads, he's giving away like millions of dollars. His last episode, he gave fucking people a million dollars to spend in under a minute in whatever store they were in. It was just like, where's it coming from? How did he manage to do this? And I know, obviously, he's getting... And I keep... I just... Basically, this is dumb. I just keep asking the same question, but... You know, he's getting help from, like, sponsors and shit, but I don't... It's just... I've never seen... No one's ever seen... No one's ever done anything like this. It's like a whole new world. The Mr. Beast world. And he, if you look at him, he just looks like a fucking guy. Like, just a regular guy. Like, he's not... It's just, it's crazy. It just blows my mind. Every single time. And of course, Eddie. Eddie's fucking spicing up the game here. <laughs> he made a funny tweet as well. Said, I just launched 300 restaurants nationwide. Just go on your favorite delivery app and order an Eddie's Burr Burger Back Burger. <laughs> We've been working on this forever and I'm so excited. So what does Eddie got? We got the Eddie style. Oops, there's too much beef on this one. Burback style. B-Y-O-B. Bring your own bun. Also, it is it is just lettuce. Trojan horse style. There are peanuts in this one, but if you ask because of your allergy, we will lie and say there isn't. Tony's grilled cheese. There is no cheese, and if you ask for it, you will be shot. Denny's Grand Slam Witch. Every night we order three Denny's Grand Slam Witches and sell them at a higher price for profit. I also eat the bacon because I want it. <laughs> Sides, straw, napkin, refried greens, lunch, roulette. We've got you someone else's order. It could be a bag lunch from an employee. <laughs> Add-ons, Eddie. Dessert, no thanks, I'm full. Very good. Fucking slammer of a tweet. 
Eddie Burback is fucking funny. What the hell did I just click there? Eddie Burback is... I might even like Eddie Burback better than Gus Johnson, and I'm not afraid to say it. All right? They were both tied for a while. Gus Johnson was in the lead for a long time, and then they were tied, and now uh, Eddie's kind of taking the lead for me now. Eddie's a funny little man. And then, okay, so back to the Beast Burger. If you go to the uh, iTunes top downloaded apps, <sighs> Mr. Beast Burger's number one above YouTube. I don't know what to say about it. I don't know what to say. It is just so crazy. Well, maybe we should talk about the vaccination because there's something here. General apologize for miscommunication over Pfizer vaccine shipments to the states. Oh, should we watch this? And then we'll do some TikToks? Why not? Where I failed, I failed, nobody else failed, is to have a clear understanding of that cadence. So when I applied it into our forecast methodology and our planning with the states, uh, we realized, I realized that there was a delta to the numbers that I personally thought were available and ready for distribution and what was releasable. I can't say it any better than that. Uh, it was my fault. I gave guidance. I am the one that approved the forecast sheets. I am the one that approved the allocations, right? There is no problem with the process. There is no problem with the Pfizer vaccine. There is no problem with the Moderna vaccine, right? It was a planning error and I am responsible uh, and I, I, I don't really know how to say it any clearer than that. Uh, we're learning from it. We're trying to get better because at the end of the day, it is about facilitating the most available vaccine doses uh, out that are releasable out to the American people. Ah! Boring. What else you got? Give me something better than that. That was that was the most boring as shit. I didn't even pay attention to a goddamn thing that motherfucker said. What else you got? Give me something. Give me something. Hold on, I gotta I gotta organize this. Sparchetti and meatballs. We already saw that. Oh, I'm so hungry. I could eat some. I could eat some spaghetti and sparchetti and meat sauce right in now, dude. I've been doing, I, so I, I recently watched, I saw a clip from the Michaela Peterson podcast. Jo she's Jordan Peterson's daughter. Okay, she had her dad on and then also had this other guy on who was talking about uh, the importance of cold showers. All right. Uh, I don't remember exactly what he said, but he really... Uh, and influenced me to start taking cold showers. All right. He says, you know, have your regular shower, then do 30 seconds of just straight cold water afterwards. And you'll feel great. And, you know, you, you've all heard about the, the, the heat shock therapy and then the cold shock immediately after and how beneficial it is. You know, everyone's spewing all this information about it. So I was like, I'm just going to try it. You know, I have a shower. I can turn it to cold. I'm just going to try it. And I did it. I, I did it. I did it for the 30 seconds, you know. It was so fucking cold. And I was, like, doing these heavy breathing techniques just to withstand it. But then afterwards, I felt amazing, you know. Because it's really healthy to allow your body to go into these shock states. Because we're always so comfortable. We're always comfortable and warm and... It is healthy to put your body in distress. And I did it, and it felt great, so I kept doing it. And now I've been doing it, like, every day now. 
Well, after I'm done my regular shower, I fucking slap on that cold water and I go to town. And it feels fan fucking tastic. Um, so you should try it. Or if you want, there is also other alternatives, and I'll show you one of them right here, right now. One of the best ways to wake up. Fuck. No, 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 no! Why is it doing that? Sorry. <laughs> it's playing on the wrong screen. I hate. I had it timed perfectly and everything. I knew that was going to happen. Bruh. Bruh. It might be fake, but I liked it. Fake or not, effort was good. Throw, throw them in the pancakes. <laughs> Should we get the scroop scale out? I don't even know if I want to use that shit anymore. Oh. I'm sure I will eventually. I'm sure I will eventually. How do you how do you feel about Christmas? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you Do you like the family gatherings but hate the gift? Receiving? Do you hate the gift receiving, but like the family gathering? Do you only like the food? Like, how do you feel about Christmas? Here's how I feel. I hate it all the way around. I don't like anything about it. Except for the food. I guess the food's good. But there's not a Christmas this year. It's just like, it's nothing. You're, we're all just sitting in our house, being miserable, drinking alcohol. Smoking a lot of weed. Zoom calling each other. And wearing masks. Singing into our phones. Whatever it takes to keep our sanity. Which we've lost completely. But we're trying to gain it back. We're trying. But it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. As Lance would say. And you would think that, like, the fucking webcam footage that you see nowadays over Zoom calls would be fucking improved significantly. It still looks like the same shit that you would have seen back in 2005. Like, especially the audio quality. Why hasn't it increased yet? You know? Even talking on your phone, the audio quality is still the same as it was fucking 10 years ago. Why hasn't it improved? What's the issue? What's the issue? Just sit at home and drink your eggnog. Forget about the quality of the fucking voice and and video. Fuck, just take your shirt off. Slick your hair back. Whip out your phone and fucking sing jingle bells to your family. Let's hear those sleigh bells ringling, ting, ting, tingling, do. Oh, yes, it's lovely weather for sleigh ride together with you. Now, he's not the first old guy I've seen do that lip thing. Did you notice that? Watch it again. Let's hear those sleigh bells ringling, ting, ting, tingling, do. Oh, yes, it's lovely weather for sleigh ride together with you. <laughs> All right, that little lip mustache quiver thing to make it look like a little caterpillar is dancing on his upper lip. Old people lose their teeth. He's got not a tooth in his head. All right, he's probably got dentures. But I've seen that growing up, too. Like the old people I surrounded myself with, not purposefully. I gotta tighten this one second. Why is it so fucking loose? Ow, it's hurting my hand. Oh my god, I'm like deforming my table with this thing. Wow. <laughs> I'm using like a plastic table, like those, you know, the ones with the legs that fold out. And so this mic stand just has like a C clamp. 
to hold it onto the edge of the table, and it's been pressed so tight for so long that it's actually squishing the plastic table now. There's a huge indent in the table <laughs> where this thing sits. Wow, that's fucking crazy. I didn't think it would do that. Oh, well, what do you do? What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, the lip quiver. I used to see old people in my younger years do that. They'd have no teeth, and they'd do the little... I can't even do it, because I got teeth. It's just one of those things that humans like to do. It just develops. I feel like that's... I feel like the table's gonna, like, break, because... I'm gonna have to keep tightening this. It's just gonna keep squishing, and then there's gonna be a chunk of the table missing. This is this is not like a fancy studio or anything anyway. I barely have anything that I need to do this properly. Alright? Everything that I'm doing is mostly wrong, but I'm making it work. I'm going to pull up the rest of what we have left here and uh, show you our lineup. Because we are the champions. We are the champions. So sorry for the uh, dead air for a moment here, but I'm just getting everything ready. All right. Let me just do this and this and this. Okay. Funks. Here's our lineup. Here's our lineup. You like it? You like what you see? Let's watch this. It might be a good thing this year that we don't have Christmas because you know, here's here's what here's the issue I, I have. Every single year it snows. You know, we get lots of snow here in Canada. Every single year. All over the highways, everything. There's ice everywhere. It's hard to drive in the winter in Canada. Okay? And every, every single year, like, and I'm not exaggerating, every single goddamn year on the major highways, you know, especially like the Anthony Henday in Edmonton, there are literally, and I'm not exaggerating, there are just hundreds of cars down the entire highway, in the ditch, crashed on the road, their semis flip sideways, the entire fucking highway, every single year, hundreds of cars, and nothing gets changed. I don't get it. Like, isn't there something we can do to prevent this? It's not like people are dying because they're all driving really slow on the on these highways, but they're all all their vehicles are fucking destroyed, and maybe that's why. No one's dying, so they're not changing anything. But lots of vehicles are getting wrecked, so insurances are making money. Or are they? I don't know. Car companies are making money, because they got to buy new shit. So maybe they're using that to their advantage. I don't know, but why... Like, Someone come up with something. Make a heated road. Make cars that float. Do something. We should just have every single street underground, like what Elon's doing, so that we'll never have to worry about any weather conditions. All the streets should be underground. Man, that's a, that, why don't we do that? Just put all the streets underground. We don't have to worry about rain, snow, fucking sleet, hail, anything. Just fucking zip around under the earth. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is literally what go. it's like every oh. year. Oh, oh. All right. And you're like, well, that doesn't look too bad. Well, just watch. <laughs> you see? I'm sure people do die from shit like this. But that wasn't a crazy accident. Fuck, crazy. Fuck. 
crazy. Well, it's every goddamn year, dude. You get people f who don't experience weather like this, and they come down, and they're like, what the fuck? Like, they think it's, you know, something new, but it's not. It's We see it every year. And not even in the big cities. I'm in, like, the smallest town on the planet. And even here, people are still bumping into shit. Because you can't control a fucking car on snow or ice. Unless you've got, like, you know, chains on your tires. But you can't, you can't wear chains on the highways because it's... There's certain parts where there's snow, there's certain parts where there isn't snow, and you're going to fuck everything up in the areas where there isn't snow. So I don't know. I have no idea. This guy doesn't know either. What would you do if you saw that? That's actually a good dance, I gotta admit. I like that. I might steal that. But uh, what I don't get is, like, why are they both just driving so slow? Like, why is he, like, why is he following her like that? It's just really weird. But it's a quality TikTok. There's a lot going on in, to unpack there. And if I did have the Scroop scale out, I might even give that a boom because it's a, I liked it a lot. It's not always about making you laugh, you know? Uh, this guy's a nice feller. I like this guy. I've been watching more and more of this guy. Alright. I'm sorry. I can't let this go. I clearly stated that any and all weapons I own are not real. They are either airsoft, nerf, or just flat, flat out toys that don't even actually sh uh, fling or shoot anything. This is getting ridiculous. Nice save. It's unacceptable, TikTok. I I cannot let this go farther. You need to straighten your shit out mm -hmm. and figure and figure out what is real and what's not. Because mm -hmm. anything I own is not real. Yeah. Yes, I may have a few real bullet shells and shotgun shells, but they've already been shot and uh -huh. I have no intentions of reloading them. Uh-huh. For the love of God, stop doing this all right he's a bullshitter all his guns are real they're all they're all real he's uh he's he's lying to you his guns are real we might have to go to his channel after this now this his his page and i will show you that his guns are real unless it shows it here are you fucking kidding me tiktok are you a child are you a child? Oh, there we go. Fake, fake, no fake, way, fake, Those fake, are real. fake. Those are real, bro. Fake. That's real as fuck. Holy shit, that's real. Orange tip. No, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. Fake orange tip. Doesn't mean anything. It's real, dude. Fake it's orange real. tip. No, that's real. You need to walk your shit out. Yeah. All right. What did, you, what did you spit? You spit on the camera? <laughs> oh, this guy, man. You, you're you not going to convince me those are fucking fake, bro. Those are real. Those are real as hell. Ask this guy. This guy will tell you. Who wants to get drunk with me tonight? Yeah, I'll get drunk with you. Let's, Let's have a party. Hell yeah, buddy. Any, uh, any women? 
Want to come over? See the good qualities here? Let's run through this. This is what makes a good... Uh, you know, this guy falls on the Christina P. scale of TikTokers, the talked TikTokers, okay? Starts with a really close-up shot of his forehead, his ugly bald head. He's in a basement, terrible lighting, shitty shit on the back walls. You know, everything's falling apart. He's got those vents in the ceiling, so yeah. Obviously, he's in the basement, right? Close up of his face. You hear this. You hear a vibration of a flip phone and a, a text message tone that you would hear on a flip phone. So let's listen. See? Well, I guess it doesn't. I guess I don't really know if it's a flip phone, but it kind of sounds like an old school phone. All right, then he pans it back. Because, see, this whole time he's trying to figure out if he's recording or not. Oh. Then he figures it out and pulls it back. Who wants to get drunk with me tonight? He's got a beer. That's all he's talking about. He doesn't even realize he's on live. Or maybe he's about to go on live. Who knows? Let's have a party. NASCAR, too. NASCAR in the back. Let's have a party. Beer. Glasses in the basement. This guy's trying to make himself seem as cool as possible any uh any women he's looking for women want to come over want to come over any women want see like he could have recorded a full 60 second tiktok but what he must have done is accidentally set it to the 15 second tiktok and he didn't realize the video was about to end because mid-sentence it cuts off so that that's what makes a pure talked tiktoker just watch the end again. Let's have a party. Any uh, any women want to come over? Any women want to come over? Who knows what he was going to say next. Maybe he was going to say, any women want to come over and suck my dick. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Here's our final talk of the day, folks. Um, this one's kind of crazy. Dude, I just fucking crashed my car. <sighs> Holy shit. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Nah. Oh, I didn't know it ended like that. <laughs> I thought there was more. I guess not. Hey, are you okay? Nah. <sighs> How do you feel about this? Pakistani politician. Mistakes video game playing. For reality. And then he praises Pilot for narrow escape. Well, folks, this is the last episode with these cards. Gotta buy a new stack. And that's it for episode 182 of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you in the next one. Remember, you got to like, you got to comment, you got to subscribe, you got to hit that bell notification, but I know you're not going to because there's nobody watching. So that's just fine. I've accepted it. I've accepted it. It's fine. So fine. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. Smell you later. Eat a big dick. Bye. Bye.